104.7's Cash or the Car. Gerald Slave and Volkswagen Bill Conan. The choice is easy. Well, how are you feeling, Tim? Yeah, pretty nervous. Yeah, good yeah. man. Let's see if your key turns the lock. Oh! oh you are kidding! You're joking! Oh. <laughs> this is the guy. This is the guy oh, that showed God. up before we got here. Oh, you I can't kidding. believe that just happened. <laughs> Tim, I just saw what you said. The mics are live, mate, so just be careful. Uh, remember, we're live on the radio, Tim. Uh, In 25 words or less, none of which start with F. <laughs> How are you feeling, man? Oh, I'm shaking. Look at him. Oh, hold out your hand for me. Let's have a look. Look at that. Oh. Let the hand, hold your hand still like this, Tim. Hold your hand like that. So you, oh, he's, no, he's shaking. Thank you. Oh. He's on the floor at the moment. He's oh. grabbing my leg. Look, everyone else hates Tim at the moment, but these things happen. Wow. 16 grand's worth of motor car. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, thanks, 104.7 in Jared Slavin. Oh, oh thank <laughs> I have never seen a happier man in my life. I really haven't. Because generally it's stuff like this, and it's a, it's a radio fact. You have a girl that wins, and they, you give a girl a paperclip, she'll lose her yeah. mind. Yep. You give a guy a car, and he's like, oh, yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks it. for that. Yeah. But, um, Tim, coming in already. <laughs> say, say again, mate. I've got messages coming in already. Oh, uh, shit. Nige. Uh, has it even sunk in yet? Oh, no. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Nigel, get up off the floor and come over to Josh from Gerald Slavin. Yeah. You can tell us all about this because... I just felt like sitting on the floor next to Tim. <laughs> oh, he was... <laughs> he, he, he collapsed out. <laughs> he freaked right out. Well, there you go. That's I'm telling you now, Tim, you're not coming back for round two of the pop quiz because you just won a car. <laughs> so you, you, you just... No, nah, someone knew when we get back from holidays. Josh from Gerald Slavin. Um, Tim's just won himself a belter of a little car, hasn't he, mate? Absolutely. Like, uh, we, we were moving cars this morning and I saw some guy roll up in his motorbike at... God knows what time, and I'm thinking, what's this guy doing here already? <laughs> yeah, he's, just, he's keen. He's keen. Yeah. Keen as mustard, and look, it's just paid off. It's yeah. unbelievable. Having vast amounts of trouble replying to text messages at the moment because yeah. his hands are shaking, but the Volkswagen Polo TSI, what can you tell us about it, mate? It's oh, look, you know, little 1.2 litre. Look, I, I, have to, I have to be honest. I, I reckon I'll probably give your uh, clubby a bit of a run down the quarter mile, Scotty. So, Josh, you, now you're yeah, drunk. Yeah, quick off the mark. Be, Josh, go home. Josh, go home. <laughs> you're drunk. Go home. You're drunk. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's seriously. And I tell you what, you, we're lucky that the key draw today was random. They yeah. were all in a oh, box. Yeah. Everyone pulled them out just at right random. Because if uh, Tim had chosen the first key because he was first here, he yeah. would have lost. He would. He would have lost. Oh, I can't believe that. Now, Tim, you've had a, about oh, 30 seconds to calm down, man. Any final words for the people of Canberra? Um, I don't know. Just hopefully uh, my boss ring me and tell me to take the day off. <laughs> <'Cause I'm laughs> That's, man, have you had a sip? No, not yet. Get in there. Is it unlocked? I didn't want to. No, you should open it first. That's your car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>